The Design Your Own City project is really a vocab project. How to deal with angles and how we call angles that show up in drawings. Um, cities, maps, lots of them, lots of different ways to do cities. You know, we've got lots of parallels, lots of perpendiculars. Sometimes they literally just want run north and south, east and west. Not always, like this one's not running north, south, east, west. Some things come, you know, to change the angle. Again, lots of parallels, lots of perpendiculars, things crossing each other. Now we've got some things going off at, you know, some different angles, which makes it nice in some ways, harder in other ways. Depends on what kind you're looking for in uh, getting around the city. Our capital, Washington, D.C., you know, we've got parallels, and we've got this thing crossing it. You know, this crossing, all coming in a circle. You have par par parallels here. These lines, streets crossing it. You know, crossing each other, different things. Just making some interesting things. Sometimes hard to navigate the city, but hey. Not all about navigating the city. So, we have to draw some parallels. So you got your basic, you know, parallel idea. And then you need some transversals. Transversal is just a name for things that cross it. Now, you can put the transversals any way you want. Make them cross each other. Also sets up some different things. Um, we're going after some vocab. So, alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are on the inside of some a couple a couple of parallels and they're on alternate sides of the transversal, the thing that's cutting it. A linear pair. It's just a set of angles that make up a line. That's all it is. So it's you know just fifty you know here and here, fifty six one twenty four linear pair, and vertical angles they're called vertical, but they're not always actually vertical. They're really just angles opposite where things cross. One twenty seven one twenty seven are vertical angles. Fifty three and fifty three are vertical angles. What you're supposed to be paying attention for is when some of these things are the same and when they are supplementary. Corresponding angles. Corresponding means they're in corresponding parts. They're in the same location, like in this setup here. 70 and 70 are corresponding angles. They're in the same location. On a map, that would be called the northwest corner of the intersection. North is, you know, the top, west is the left. So those would be the, both on the northwest corner of their respective intersections, corresponding. Same location, different place. Same side interior. Instead of alternate interior, we've got three and six being same side interiors. They're on the inside and they're on the same side. Four and five, same side interiors. Uh, alternate interiors already talked about. Corresponding angles we talked about. Alternate exterior. Alternate just means the on opposite sides of the line. Look at where these angles are going. Opposite sides of the transversal. They're on the exterior because on the outside of our parallel set. And alternate because they're on the, the left and the right side. Uh, the northwest and the southeast corner of the intersection. So you're trying to set up the vocab. Show that you understand what these things mean and where they are. If we talk about alternate interior and alternate exterior. And which ones are congruent? Which set of angles are congruent? So you got someone that could drew something drew something like that. You got your main parallels, transversal. So you got some other side streets. Yeah, you're gonna have some of that. Then you're gonna put all sorts of different buildings and things inside a city. Colored if you want. Make it nice, pretty.